Hi folks, welcome back to another video of the B29 restoration project. What I am working on now is I'm getting ready to install this right hand side of the horizontal stabilizer stub uh, block off rib, the ply rib that's going to hold the stab tube sockets in place. So last time you saw it, we had this rib tack glued in place that was being used to epoxy the other side on. That other side has cured and has mostly been sanded across the, the top to match the airfoil. Uh, the, this, the epoxy is just a little rubbery, so I'm letting that cure before I get around to just sanding the, the bottom to shape. But I've got the set stabilizer tube sockets here. These have been cut to length, obviously, and they are now going to be the next thing that gets glued into into the horizontal stabilizer stub here. And then while these are still wet, the last thing to get glued on will obviously be the ply rib here. So it's not gonna be really all that difficult. I'm using Gorilla Glue on this. I'm gonna put a very generous bead of Gorilla Glue on the ends here, and that will get twisted as it goes in, and I will just keep applying glue and twisting and pushing it in further and further into the stabilizer stubs here until I get a very nice bead of glue. And then once both of those are done, we will get around to epoxying this stub rib in place. So one thing I did when I tack glued it, I put the masking tape down in the two areas like I have shown you before. And when I went to remove this rib, what I did is I pulled the masking tape off and I left these little bitty nubs of CA and masking tape. And what this does is it allows me to place it very, very quickly in the position that it needs to be. And then it can be double checked once it's there with the incidence meters. And then we can go about going around and tack gluing it with CA. So as you see with those two little nubs there, it just sits right there in place perfectly so that should help make the process just a little bit easier so Okay, folks, now we've got the sockets are glued in place. The root rib here is also epoxied in. It is tack glued to hold it in place. I'm going around making sure that our sockets have just a little bit of stick out on either side. That way it gives us a little bit of something to sand down to. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the plywood pieces that we have cut for the very tip of the, uh, the stabs and I'm going to put those over the tubes just to verify their alignment to make sure that they are still parallel which they are pretty, yep they're pretty much right there. I'm gonna leave these pieces of wood that you see like here just there to ensure nothing goes haywire and really nobody bumps into it while it dries. <clears throat> so for now, all this is gonna stay here, it's gonna dry. I'm gonna leave the, the carbon fiber tubes inside of their sockets since that grill glue is gonna expand and those sockets are very, very thin fiberglass. I don't want those to get crushed, so I'm going to leave the tubes in there. That way the foam goes out instead of in and crushes that socket. And here in a couple of hours, I will come back and we will 
figure out how we're going to attach the outboard or the rest of the horizontal stabilizer stabilizers to this. Um, I'm going to go grab some lunch and I am going to go probably download some videos and start doing some editing on the next couple ones. So y'all have a great day. See ya.